Hello and welcome to the Cheese House. It's your boy Daniel Cheeseman and today we're going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. If you guys don't know what that is, then you're completely missing out. Either that or you just don't follow various trends and YouTubers. So anyways, I may as well get this thing sorted. And then we can begin. So, let's get this open. Team Salvato. This game is not suitable for children or those that need to understand. Now, just so you guys know, I'm not using a Steam account for this. It's not really... I don't really own Steam, so I just went and got this off of a different site altogether. <clears throat> and I might end up cheating a little bit because I've seen various Let's Plays, so I'm going to be doing, going through various hacks and so forth just to, just to get a sort of path that I want to choose. So let's start a new game. I see an annoying girl run towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Well, that's just rude. That girl is Sayori, my neighbour and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make this window a lot bigger. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna... actually, that's too loud. If she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Oh. <clears throat> However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk, and let Sayori catch up. Oh, there she is! Oh, she looks so cute! I, I guess I should fill you guys in on it. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club is supposed to be some sort of a um, visual novel sort of inspired game. Although it, although most of the characters in it look fairly like anime characters. And, uh... And yeah, if you, if you want a bit more info, then watch Jacksepticeye, Lost Paws, Markiplier, PewDiePie, any of those... Any of the other Let's Players to, um, to get a, a bit of information on this. And yeah, this this does seem to be pretty popular. The thing is, however, it's not really for children and those who are easily disturbed. Apparently there's a hidden element uh, inside this thing, so um, let's see if we can discover it together then. So, let's see. <sighs> I almost slept again! But I caught you this time! Wow, that <laughs> that just sounded way wrong. Yeah, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Oh, you say that like you were you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, cheesy old. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Yeah, fine, fine. God damn it, man! You're so dense. <clears throat> but you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> I think I came across as sounding a little too feminine there, but who knows. We cross the street together and make our way to the school. As we draw nearer, the students... the str uh, the, No, not the students. The streets! I'm gonna be... I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up screwing this up a lot, so bear with me, alright? Anyway, I'll try this again. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, cheesy all, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Ugh, I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Huh? That's not true! You. Did I? <laughs> Golly, huh? 
I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going about. Yep. Why? Why do you have to be like that, dude? Okay. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. This, this is me in a nutshell, basically. <laughs> this... Uh, it, it may not look like it, but I am a, um... But I am a huge anime nerd. In case you couldn't already tell by the um, Sword Art Online style swords on my shirt here. Screen printed myself, actually. So yeah, I'm on the artistic side as well. But yeah. <clears throat> this I think this guy's a little too much like me. This cheesy old's too much like me. Uh-huh. I was I was talking about how worried it how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Well... Your happiness is really important to me, you know? <laughs> is it just me, or does anyone else think that Sayori's just a little too cute? <clears throat> and I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a mage in a few years, because you're not used to the real world. Oh, <laughs> wow! That, um... Wow. Even, even with her worrying and cute tone, she still, she still managed to, to drop a freaking roast in there. I just got freaking roasted. My god. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <clears throat> I, I know there's going to be a lot of coughing here, but... I've... Uh, and I'm not sick, by the way. I just I just got a few issues. Why do, I so, why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Well, huh. the school days is an yeah, the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. <sighs> really, gotta stop fucking these lines up. <clears throat> After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. So, clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. Guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Okay, just go with the basic option here. Just go with your first choice, gut instinct, and follow the paths of... Goodness. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left. Oh my goodness! <clears throat> I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Wait, 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 That's not something to be happy about! It's not something to be happy about! Sayori, what are you doing? Anyways. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? That you could come and join my club. Sayori... There's no way I'm going near your club. Hey, Mimi. She's. The way she just does this, it's just, it just looks way too cute. It's so kawaii! Anyway, um. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. No, that, that would be a surprise for various people knowing. So much about your uh, about your best friend, childhood friend, whatever, and then you find this out. I mean, it's it's like Kirito once said. 
if if you marry someone, you already you already love every single side to them. So if you so if later on down the line you find another side to love, doesn't that mean you'll love your partner even more? Actually, wait, no, that that line more sort of that line's more sort of uh, towards that line's actually m more towards romance instead of friendship. Uh, but still, it, it, it's not really. <laughs> yeah, I, I fuck things up, okay? In fact, I'm 99% sure that she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. <clears throat> that said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the anime club. Oh, come on, please! Why do you care so much, anyway? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday that I didn't remember. WHY?! Just why?! Why would you do that?! And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. You little minx, Sayori. <laughs> Don't don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if I can't tell if Sayori is that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. She wants to be closer to you, dude. Stop being so dense. I let out a long sigh. All right, fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay! Let's go. If. If this is too much for anybody, um, I'm, I'm really sorry. I am going to be doing a lot of female voices and male narration, so just, just bear with me, okay? And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. It, it kind of sounds as though you're making a deal with the devil. Oh god. Anyways, I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! <coughs> need some water or something. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, that's all sorted. Magic. Alright, now let's see where we are. Everyone, a new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature... <laughs> Hold on. I need to think of a voice. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always said nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Ah, cheesy old. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Uh, all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls, and we can already tell that there's gonna be a harem assembled. Hey, I'm I'm basically I'm basically like I'm basically kind of like the Kirito of Doki Doki. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Z sorry, Natsuki. Hm. We're already starting off on a bad note with the tsundere here. 
The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Does look that way. Does look that way. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Nat, uh, 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 Sayori. God damn it, I'm fucking everything up again. Huh. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly, quietly into my ear and then turns back toward the other girls. I don't know why she's so obsessed with being so close to me. Oh well. <clears throat> anyway, this is Natsuki. Full, always full of energy. And this is Yuri. She's the smartest in the club. Don't, don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid. <coughs> God, that's bad. Maybe I am getting sick. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet... It's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Chizio. Monica smiles sweetly. God, that pose. It's just... I, I can't do it well. It it's it just it's just bad. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically she's completely out of my league. Uh, this is way too true to form. Why on earth is it that that this guy's character traits Cheesyol's character traits mimic mine. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know, that the Cheesyol... I decided to go with the... Um, <clears throat> I decided to go with a interesting route for naming my avatar. Because... Because Sword Art Online, he... Kirito... chose that and, as an abbreviation of his real name, Kazuto Kirigaya. Kiri from... Ki Kirigaya and Nato from Kazuto. So, what I've done... Is um is combine my two names, it's the C H W -E, e S from Cheeseman, and the I E L from Daniel. So there, Cheesy L. <clears throat> so having a smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Cheesy L. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes! Hey! I need them! I'll go get them! Wow, that that sounded a little too high-pitched, even for my... Even for my pubescent voice. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's widened enough so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay! Okay! Are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Little Neko cupcakes. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Oh, I'd almost feel bad for eating one. So cute. So kawaii. Alright, that's enough anime. Alright, that's enough weeaboo stuff. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. <clears throat> Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. <clears throat> it's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Why did I make her sound like that? 
I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's become quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? It made them for you or anything, Baka! God. I can't help it, guys. I can't help it. <clears throat> hey? I thought you technically did. Sayori so said... I am such a fucking weeaboo. Sorry. <clears throat> alright, alright. Oh, and apologies for the constant swearing. There's also going to be a fair amount of that sprinkled throughout the game, and I, I can't really censor any of it. So, sorry guys. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. <clears throat> she carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I'm actually more into coffee myself, so I I don't really know I don't really know where the logic is. <clears throat> Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> God, what on earth is my... <clears throat> don't let you, don't let yourself get intimidated. He was just trying to impress you. Eh? That, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy. But at least I enjoy a good cup of tea. Nope, that that that's wrong. I actually, I actually prefer a nice coffee myself. Well, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, um, what made you consider the literature club? Uh Oh, I was afraid of this question. <clears throat> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... Oh, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club exciting and fun for everyone. Wow. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the other major clubs. Besides, weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, um, to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. That pose. I, I just can't get over that pose. I mean, what is that? What is that? <sighs> I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is real. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. Must be kind of hard to start a new club, huh? You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, such as literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. <clears throat> but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! 
Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. What a surprise. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they are all so delighted at the idea of a new member joining up. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm. Some about literature. So, Jeezy, what kind of things do you want to read? Well, uh, um... Oh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. He's probably just going to cop out and say manga. I knew it! I knew it! I knew he was going to say manga! I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Uh? I mean, it's just like she's... It's just like she's focused on something else, and then... Well, uh... Manga. Uh? <laughs> just... Just almost like a Tim Taylor kind of thing. Uh? Uh? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh, anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly com clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books instead of people. So she's... she's technically antisocial as well, huh? But you know, I, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of, of your lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Desperately grasp on something so that I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri may as well be having a conversation with a rock. That that's pretty much how my conversations turn out. I always it always ends up either one sided or or the group just ends up chatting away and I'm just sitting there like Oh yeah, I've I've done various things like that. Not, not to the level of extent that you guys have done it, but it, it's, it, I've, I've still done it. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much the, um, I'm, I'm pretty much the reserved one myself, really. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh? Why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's right, you, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? But what? What gives you that idea? Well, you left a piece of scrap paper behind in the last club meeting. Looked like you were working on a poem called DON'T SAY IT OUT LOUD! Give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and places her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Huh? Well, I guess sometimes. But why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, so not a very confident writer yet, huh? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing. It's 
takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example for and help Natsuki feel comfortable to share hers. Uh... I guess it's the same way for Yuri. Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems! We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone! Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our very own. Then, next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Uh... Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Cheesy? Wait! Uh, am I officially a club member now? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. What? Uh, what is with Monica and a, and a warm slash sweet smiles? It's getting a little bit creepy. Wait, uh, hold on there. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? And that brings us right back around to the original topic of me joining the club. So I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said that I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions yet. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... Oh no, I'm getting stared at. <laughs> I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, all of them are just looking at me like... Um... I'm sorry, I, I thought... <laughs> Jeez, you know. You all... Wow, I, I think I upset them a little too much. Wait, is that tear stain I can see on Monica's cheek? Oh dear, I think it is. Oh jeez, I'm defenseless against these girls. Don't give in to your impulses! That's not how this works! How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when I'm when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend day every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. I think you're getting a little too attached there, Sayori. I think... How, how on earth did Noble of Lost Pools describe her? Dere dere? I, I don't know. I don't know. But I can obviously tell that, that's, that Natsuki's a tsundere. Still, uh, it's still sort of... blank on the other girls. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for... If you really only just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Cheesium. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. God, this, this situation's getting really, really, really tense. Can I really impress... <laughs> impress? What the hell is impress? <laughs> Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Actually, yeah, mine are, mine are also pretty darn shit. Especially since most of the time I'd end up just, just a little, just a little on the pause button, and then, and then end up with ink smudges. <clears throat> I 
I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the other girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. It's easy, since we're already here. Do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore. Because she's always stayed after school for the club meetings. Uh, yeah, sure, might as well. Yay! Almost sounds as though... It almost sounds as though Sayori's purposefully trying to be cute. <laughs> I really can't stop myself, can I? Oh, wait. Oh, what was... And with that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way back home. Okay. I accidentally skipped the last line, so I missed it. The whole way, my mind wanders back to the... Back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and, of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, now it's time to write a poem. Pick words your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. Right. So what do I want to do here? Do I... Do I go with... I'm actually just going to go with Sayori, so let's see. Let's see the words here. Embrace, Papa, Intellectual, Giggle, Incapable, Unrequited, Fluffy, Chocolate, Amazing, Vacation. I'll go with Amazing. Yep, that's Sayori. Uh, lazy, Bed, Question, Disarray, Feather, Vivacious, Crimson, Sing, Electricity, and Awesome. I'll go Bed on this one. There we go. <clears throat> Unstable, Vertigo, Desire, Music, Hurt, Clouds, Color, Hop, Dream, Pink. Uh, This is actually, this one's actually a really tough one. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Dream. Ah, oh, crap, that's Yuri's. Fuck. Okay. Um, damn, uh, let's see, uh, Lost Lipstick, Universe, Treasure, Strawberry Essence, Lollipop together. I know that's Sayori's, okay. Waterfall, Daydream, ah, that's, that's the one I wanted to, okay. Agonizing, beauty, uncontrollable, fear, judgment, heaven sent, existence, cute, suicide, ocean. Jesus. Um. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh, God. Uh, so let's see. Agonizing, beauty, uncontrollable, fear. Oh, ocean. That, that, that's where I can. That's where I can go. Yeah, there we go.
infallible imagination, sticky cry, hope, hopeless, precious, grief, despise, promise, massacre! Jesus Christ, what the hell is massacre doing in there? Um... God, it's, it's rather, it's rather conflicting. Childhood. Doki Doki. Love, playground, wonderful, comfort. Socks, aura, peaceful, destiny. Uh, yeah, I'll go with this one. There we go. Shiny, misery, vanilla, whistle, depression, cheer, disaster, misfortune, charm, and silly. Well, for some reason she enjoys misfortune, so I'll go with that one. Mouse, vitality, flower, extraordinary, peace, portrait, party, analysis, uncanny nature. I don't exactly know why I feel as though I need to impress Sayori, but it's... Okay, Rainbow, Bouncy, Summer, Jumpy, Marriage, well, she enjoys that one. Uh, Wrath, Sweet, Nightgown, Entropy, Spinning, Fe Fester? Fester? That, that might, that might be Natsuki's word. Nibbled Cheeks, Disoriented Romance. Memories, hope, raindrops, puppy, jump, bunny, family, melancholy, excitement, candy. Uh, I'll go with memories on this one. Anger, vivid, secretive, disown, kawaii, parfait, games, pleasure, smile, adventure. I'll go with adventure with this one. Uh, philosophy, bliss, headphones, sadness, milk, time, ribbon, t determination, fantasy, poof. <sighs> Go bliss. I don't want to accidentally grab anything that could be really sort of, you know, here. Pout, flying, blanket, pure, explode, ambient, empty, vibrant, heart. Heart. There we go. Uh, captive, sparkle, fireflies, horror, anime. D okay, well, anime is definitely hers. Uh, sensation, calm, effulgent, effulgent, rose. Rose. Loud, unrestrained, broken, melody. Passion, Whirlwind, Prayer, Meager, Inferno, Joy. I'll go Prayer on this one. There we go. Uh, play, Graveyard, Incongruent, Tragedy, Heartbeat, Breathe, Sunset, Fickle, Landscape, and Tears. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Alright, so I've only managed to screw up once by accidentally choosing something for Yuri. The rest of it's all Sayori, so I think I'm okay here. Hello again, Cheeseal. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the Literature Club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thank you for keeping your promise, Cheeseal. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack! So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. 
Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat, like just poof. Don't worry, guys. Chizio always gives his gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy that it's very distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. So wait. So wait, is this guy... Is this guy OCD as well? Is that so... <laughs> you two really are good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Jizu can become good friends too. Um... Sayori... As usual, Sayori seems to have seems oblivious to the weird situation she put me into. Uh, oh, you even brought me something today, you know? Well, wait, Sayori? Hey, me? Um, not really. Oh, don't be shy. It, it's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Wow, she's she's really embarrassed. If you can if you can see her face just there. So you already made it sound like a big deal when really it's not. Oh, what do I do? Me? Oh, I'm sorry, Uriel. I wasn't thinking. Guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, it's not like I was expecting anything in the first place. So any gesture from you, any nice gesture from you or anyone is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. It, is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal out of it if, if you don't want me to, if you want, if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if, even if you don't usually read, and we could, you know... Oh god, uh, this is, um, d discuss it if you want it. Oh! Oh yeah, just a, just a secret bedroom discussion about a book. Things are gonna get really kinky in here. <laughs> anyway, alright, enough of me being, alright, enough of me being strange. Th this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not re reading much. Wow, uh, thanks, Yuri. I'll definitely l look into this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. And now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some of the scheduled activities for the club. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner, Yuri's face is already buried in a book, and I can't help but notice her, I can't help but notice her intense expression, as if she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around, rummaging around in the closet. Man, looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy, how am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of that book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. That's always my excuse. I'm always too tired for something. I never, ever get enough sleep. Uh, maybe it's insomnia or something. I don't know. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. Probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our only chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need to find a way of showing that to everyone. Something that sparks their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? 
even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come if it's nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? So you're always taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh. You make a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Of course, it always falls right back to Natsuki and her baking. Haha, <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right! Natsuki makes the best cupcakes! That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it, was it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> wow. Well, cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. Ugh. Ugh. Good grief. Seeing this go. Ooh. Shit. <laughs> I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the the unexpected reason I admire her. Oh, is he starting to fall for her now? I'm starting to fall for her now, I think. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Actually, yeah, that's way true. I, I don't have any motivation for anything. Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about certain things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Whoa! Jeez! I opened my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. Good grief. That, that, that gave me a shock. That gave me a shock. I nearly fell out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. <laughs> Does our school even have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? Doesn't that just get you right in the chest? Just a dagger through your heart. Oh, a dagger through your heart. No time for anime and manga. It cannot be! Okay, that's enough of my weeaboo side for now. <laughs> You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I suppose so. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. Yeah, that's a problem. I mean, what about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? But not every day. That doesn't sound very convincing. I mean, how many days this past week have you gotten up on time? I knew it! Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt! Can't even do that. I mean, look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori gr glances at- Grances? Oh my god. Uh, everything I say turns to shit. Okay. Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? Well, you were clearly in a rush this morning. Your hair is... I mean, look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh! I'm on my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. And you really need a brush for this. But my hair is just really hard to get right. I'm not gonna fall for that. It's more than just your hair. I mean, look, your bow isn't even straight either. There's toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. Nobody would ever do that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you. 
No, it's just nobody's telling you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Oh, hey, you meanie. I, I guess I am pretty rude. I am, I am, this guy is pretty fucking dense. And you don't even keep your blazer button up. Whoa, this is going to get physical. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Oh! No! Oh no! Eh? That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom! Oh my god. Once you see how much better this looks, you'll change your mind. Oh! Hello! Close up! <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Hey, eh? Don't say that! You make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. That button might come off. Oh my god. Oh, why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. God. Does this thing even fit you properly anymore? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. Huh? What are you smiling about? Oh. <laughs> oh no! No 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 Oh my god what are why are you doing this to me game? Why are you doing this to me? Oh my god Oh my god I'm gonna have to uh, Don't say that out loud Yeah don't say that out loud Oh my god Oh yeah, yeah. If if any of you, if any of you guys have gotten hard while reading that line, you're perverts. Plain and simple. Uh. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you're looking a lot better now. So. Uh. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Ooh. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because... If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And he'd take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. S Stop saying all these embarrassing things! God, I'm actually starting to get myself a little bit nervous here. Hey, eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just, just just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier, okay? Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. <sighs> fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are t better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come and wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori! Oh, but I was joking that time! Man, it's really impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Huh? So uh, Monica suddenly calls out. Oh, I, I think I may have made that sound a little too surprised there. Hey? Why don't we share our poems? Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Jeez, yo, I can't wait to read yours! Yeah, same. I think it'll sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. 
my relaxation ends. I can't, believe, I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf, torn from a spiral notebook. Well, much like this, except this one's torn from an actual notebook. Which has a rather interesting shape. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Okay, now, I will have to share my poem out. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably just gonna work my way from the bottom of the list to the top. So, I'll go Monica here. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I wanted to know that I'm putting in effort. Hi Cheezeal, having a good time so far? Uh, yeah? Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be a little too afraid to bring things up. Yeah, that happens to me as well. I, I get I get way, way too nervous when it's when it's time to ask for something that I just end up keeping silent. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. This is... This is getting into, like, Spy Kids Matrix territory here. I feel like I'm actually inside the game. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Cheezeal. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, I guess that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm hmm. I like this one. Makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm, well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, Mum's just sent me a message. Okay, never mind. I'll, um... Okay, oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright, so I've already read that. Uh, anyway, back to the game. Sorry for that little sidebar. The way she always... The way she talks about you sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's kind of the vibe I'm getting when I'm reading your poems. Huh. You're sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound a bit like Eerie there. But in any case, Siori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions, such as happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that, that's totally unexpected. Well, each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you figure out. And I'll always help you find what style suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> that kind of sounded a little bit creepy there, Monica. Anyway, you want to read my poem now? 
Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Might need my lensless glasses for this one. A hole in the wall. It shouldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A nosy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No. I can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film let out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas are already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It isn't... It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into anything. A hole with infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Does Monica have a stalker or something? Oh my god! So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. So what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of an epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a little bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuffs like that. Deep stuffs? What? <laughs> deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try too hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll end up with just a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that when you're a southpaw. You'll end up with flicking marks on your hand. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Right, may as well go with Yuri next. Hmm. 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 Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh. Oh! Sorry! I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm, I'm not. I, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah. So it's that bad, huh? No! no! Uh, d d did I just raise my voice? I, I, oh, I'm so sorry! She gets way too flustered easily, doesn't she? Yuri, ba Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we, s and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a little while to get used to new people. It's fine, I, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I've kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering's completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into even writing a simple poem. 
Not just finding them, but building them. And... but... Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone in this club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Uh, do you mind if I read your poem now? Uh, please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if this is a rare opportunity for her. Which in itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? I'd, I'd say so, yeah. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight who has withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I know my voice may have sounded a little bit weird to those, out those that are outsiders, but yeah. Sure is an interesting one. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. It, but it took you a long time to read. Ah. Uh, well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your hand li handwriting is pretty. Eh? Th th that's a relief. Also, I really, I really liked that poem. Even though it's short, it was very descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Oh, no, 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 not at all! I'm, I'm really glad that you like it. I'll be honest, uh, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to just to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, cheesy old. Just the way I did that <laughs> line kind of kind of sounded as though something bad was going to happen. Really? I must have totally missed the point then. Well, I suppose you only did glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences through their words. Through their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. Putting it that way, Yuri, that's a lot more solemn. I hadn't even thought of that. It's impressive. Oh, it's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Right. I'll do Natsuki next. Hmm. Huh? Well, it's just about... Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes? I mean, oh shit, sorry. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Whoa, way, way, way too soon there. Way too soon today. I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. This kind of looks like something a fifth grader would write. No offense to anyone, but this kind of looks something fifth grader-ish. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. 
Horses can race, owls can seek. Cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. People can try, but that's about it? So it's a poem about trying to spread your wings and failing miserably. Perhaps I'm reading a little too much into it. Yeah, I told you you weren't gonna like it. No, I like it. What? Just be honest. I, I am. Why are, you, uh, why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems? For people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you doing great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight in the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Don't expect that from the young didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I can't take that away from her. Right, I'll show that to my girl. I'll show it to my girl now. <clears throat> oh my goodness! This is so good, Cheesy old. Hey. I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't just... Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that's part of it. I, I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem... It's not just a poem. It's a cheesy old poem. Wow, she is fangirling out there. She is... I mean, I, I, I've only written, like, one mediocre poem, and I've already got a fangirl. What is going on? And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. Wow, you really are weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm so happy that you wrote me. I'm just so happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact... Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room? Uh, well, of course. I'm not really... I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll... That doesn't mean I'll break my promise. I'm still trying to give it my all. See? It's like I said before, Cheesy. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. Not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motives here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all... Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that, then. You read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, The way that you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes it feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me get out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Oh, That's so cute, Sayori! That's so cute! 
I, I think I've, I think I may have actually found my waifu here. <laughs> Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. It don't be mean. I still try my best. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? Kind of sounds like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. Yeah, you, yeah, you're telling me that, because I, I, I kind of woke up a little bit late this morning, and and I only had a bowl of cereal, like, just, oh, nearly an hour ago. And it's already, like, one o'clock. Although, of course, although, of course, it's, it's basically on where I am, being in Australia and also in Kingston and everything. Everyone else is just going to have a different time zone, so... Whatever. You get all cranky otherwise. Yeah, well... Well, I don't always have breakfast every single day. It's mainly just two or... It's just one or two or three cups of coffee a day. And then just... That just tides me over for a little bit until it's lunchtime, so... Yeah. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This was so much fun. Monica's is the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Whew! Guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. I was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? No! It's nothing! Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to, di to the desk with one hand. I, I guess you could say it's fancy! Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute?! Do you completely miss the, sis the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up! How could that be cute? I I know that. I I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you had to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Well, thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Uh, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Cheesy old did too! So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own! First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <coughs> and Cheesy old liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, this is... We're getting into some heated territory here. Oh, jeez, my back. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That, that's not what I... Oh, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Cheesy will appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? You know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was that full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh! 
Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew so much bigger as soon as Cheesy Old started showing up. N Natsuki! Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys! Excuse me, you two. Uh, excuse me. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was just standing there. Ch cheesy old... She's, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! She could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. And this wouldn't have happened in the first place! What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? I mean, you should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out! Help me explain that to her, Cheesy old... Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and, the, and meaning most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Cheesy Um... Well? Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? Actually, I'm really starting to get sore doing all that. Oh, jeez. <sighs> It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll think more highly of me. And of course, that's going to be... Oh boy. Uh, Natsuki? N no. Uh, Yuri? No. Sayori, help! Natsuki... Oh, shit. I skipped a bit. Natsuki clears it me drawing up any words I had in my mouth, so instead I turned to Yuri. That's Yuri. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't even bring myself to say something to her. Oh. Say Yuri! Huh? Yeah! Everyone's fighting is just making Sayori really uncomfortable here. How, how on earth can the two of you keep fighting when you know that your friend is is starting to feel like this? Cheesy old. Well, that's her problem! This isn't about her! Uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck up jerk she's being. She would never! It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me?! Are you even listening to yourself?! This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Huh? Natsuki! Yuri! You guys are my friends! I just. I just want to make sure everyone. I just want everyone to get along and be happy! My friends are wonderful people! And I love them because of their differences! Natsuki's poems are amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head! Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? Because... Well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Jesus Christ, Sayori. Pig and beautiful... Oh my god. Sayori, stop this! You're making the situation tense again! Uh... Sayori? Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression on her face. Oh, make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, I guess this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. Oh. I guess this is why Sayori is vice president. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's the most- that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. You could say that. She might be kind of an airhead, but 
Sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly, me causing my stomach to knot. Again with the sweet smile. Why does she do that? Is that on my finger? Such a genuine person does make a good president, regardless of what she says. Oh, okay. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Cheesy. what about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was actually a very neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! Well, in that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Uh, I think to myself, did I learn a little more? I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job of impressing those that I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. cheesy -o! Ready to walk home? Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Huh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That, that, that's really only the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, of course I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, cheesy old. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in a club like this. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. Everything is going to be so much fun! Uh, looks like Sayori is still not caught on to the... Has, has still not caught on to the sort of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Well, well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but... It's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay! Yeah, let's do this. And we're gonna end up with day two's poem. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there, so So yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um If you if you're looking for a little more uh, context into um into what this literature club is, then you can um and you can check the website, download the link in uh, Steam or whatever, or even just watch various playthroughs and so forth. Much like mine, even though I'm not exactly the best kind of uh, person for this. But yeah, it's, um, it's it sure seems to be an interesting game so far. I, I do know that it starts to get a little twisted down the line, so... Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably just going to save it here and all that sort of stuff so I'll I'll continue it next time so thanks for watching if you'd uh, if you'd like to take to check out some of my uh, other stuff I've, um, I've got oh, quite a few things I, I know it's not exactly all the best but yeah, still it's it's the best I could do but yeah I'm I'll see you in the next video and uh, Oh, oh, oh I, I really need to come up with better outros, don't I? See you next time! Yeah, go!